For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Sniffle the Man Cheese as always. In today's video, I have the top nine teams to use in Madden 25 when the game's released. Whether that's online, head to head, playing a friend at home, or if you're playing in a CFM, these will be the nine best teams to start. Although I don't want this to come across as the nine best teams to use in CFM because I actually want to do a video about that, the best teams to build, stuff like that, which I typically like to do as well. So if you guys want to see me do more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now. The reason I'm doing a top nine instead of a top 10 is because I don't think there really is a 10th team that belongs in the same category as the nine I'm going to show you guys because these are the nine truly elite teams coming into Madden 25. Starting off with the team that went to the NFC Championship game last year, almost went to the Super Bowl in the Detroit Lions. Now, one of the reasons that they're only ranked ninth is because I know a lot of people don't want to play with Jared Goff. He doesn't have great throw power. He doesn't have great speed. He's pretty mediocre as far as the game concerned. And if you are playing in a CFM, you're kind of stuck with him because of the massive contract they just got. Uh, but this is definitely a run heavy team with guys like David Montgomery who's a very good power back but more importantly Jameer Gibbs is one of the best young running backs in the game and also one of the fastest other than that they also have one of the fastest receivers in the game is six foot two Jamison Williams and Amon Ross St. Brown which is one of the highest rated overall receivers in the game as well giving you a really good one-two punch they also have Sam Laporta who came on last year and had a monster rookie season already one of the best tight ends in the game uh, when you get to the offensive line though this is where they really separate themselves with one of the best offensive lines in the game with Taylor Decker, uh, Frank Ragnow, Kevin Zeitler, and Panay Sewell, all basically elite linemen. So they're four out of five elite linemen across the board. On defense, they're not quite as good. They do have Aiden Hutchinson, DJ Reader, really good uh, run stopper. Uh, the linebacking core is kind of on the slow side. They did try to address their cornerback situation with drafting Terry on Arnold in the first round. And they also have pretty good safeties in Melifonwu and Brian Branch, who also had a monster rookie year last year. Next up, we got the Houston Texans. Now, this team is swinging for the fences this year I think that they have a very good shot of going to the Super Bowl with CJ Stroud coming off a monster rookie season they also went and put a ton of talent around them bringing in Joe Mixon a very good running back and they already had Damian Pierce who's also a very good running back as well so a good two running back system there uh, but what they really swung for the fences when they went out and got Stephon Diggs they already had Nico Collins who came off of a very solid season Tank Dell a very good rookie season as well all these guys have 92 speed so you got three receivers that are very talented at 92 plus speed at tight end Dalton Schultz is probably the best they have um, at 81 speed it's not really that great uh, Brevin Jordan though 87 speed deserves a little bit of time the offensive line solid Larry McTones is one of the best in the game Will Anderson Jr. had a monster rookie year he's got 87 speed but they added Daniel Hunter to the other side so you got two of the better speed rushers in the game both of them 87 speed uh, then you get to the linebacking core they have some speed here like I said a lot of the times when you're looking at Madden teams just look for speed Christian Harris 90 speed is really nice uh, but that's pretty much it when you get to the cornerbacking section you got Derek Stingley Jr. who's one of the best young cornerbacks in the game Jalen Petrie and Jimmy Ward round out a very solid secondary next up we got the Cowboys who I think last year was number one on my list they took a big step back in a couple different areas I'll show you but they're still a very good team Dak Prescott still a solid quarterback 84 speed he's got x factors and abilities and stuff like that they don't really have a running back at all that impresses me which is really what has them lower on this list but they still deserve to be there because they still have some really good receiving options at CeeDee Lamb Brandon Cooks and Cavante Turpin who's 95 speed giving you a very good three wide receiver set at a tight end are okay with Jake Ferguson they also have Luke Schoonemaker they drafted in the second round last year uh, but offensive line they also took a big step back Tyler Guyton will probably be lowly rated but will probably be able to work up very easily because he's a very good physical profile but that's pretty much it There's tackles aren't very good their guards are great and tyler smith uh zach martin and even cooper Be cooper bb which is a good uh you know rookie a young rookie player that they drafted as well so they have some good guys that are young other than that their defense is really what keeps them on this list because their defense is still one of the best in the game with the marcus lawrence on one end and mika parsons an absolute game wrecker on the other with his speed but they have a ton of speed at linebacker too marquise bell great user player uh eric kendricks is a decent guy to bring on for a linebacker and damone clark is once again very fast at 90 speed uh they're Cornerbacks are still really solid, though, with Trayvon Diggs coming back, 93 speed, and Deron Bland. But Malik Hooker and Donovan Wilson fill out a really good secondary. And the reason on this list is because they still have one of the best and fastest defenses in the game. 
Next up, we got the New York Jets, who really didn't get much out of Aaron Rodgers last year before he got hurt, but you can still use him in the game. After that, they got a really good running back, one of the fastest running backs once again in Brees Hall. You get to the receiving core, and they already had Garrett Wilson, who was a really good receiver, number one, uh, but they added Mike Williams, a six foot four superstar caliber receiver, to give them a very good one-two punch. Their offensive line got a lot better when they added Tyron Smith, who's still a very productive player at his age, 95 overall superstar uh, player on the offensive line, and they also have guys like like Elijah Vera Tucker, who they drafted in the first round a couple years ago, Morgan Moses. They traded for Hassan Reddick to add a very good speed rusher off the edge uh, for, you know, the one side of the ball and the other side, Jermaine Johnson's looking pretty good. And Quentin Williams, one of the game-wrecking defensive tackles in the game. There's not a ton of guys that can wreck a game like him from the inside, but that gives you a very strong offense or very strong defensive line. You get to the linebacking core, they have a little bit of speed with guys like Quincy Williams on the outside and, you know, Zaire Barnes, you can use her uh, if you want to. So some good speed of linebacker, but their secondary is really where it's at. Sauce Gardner, absolute shutdown cornerback, six foot three, ninety-two speed, one of the best in the game. And then guys like DJ uh, Reed Jr. is also very good. Next up, we got the team that went to the Super Bowl for the NFC, the San Francisco 49ers. And once again, what holds them back is Brock Purdy's uh, throw power and his speed. Now, a lot of people want to use a guy like that who doesn't really have a ton of either, but he's still very accurate, which is going to be important, has superstar abilities. Uh, but if you want to run the ball, this is probably the best team to do it. Chris McCaffrey, they got really good receiving options as well. And Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, if you want to play, you know, small ball, you know, throw the ball within a 20 to 30 yard radius, you got great receivers to do that. You also have some really good young guys like Ricky Pearsall, who's six foot three, Danny Gray, who's a 95 speed, and Jacob Cowan, who they're suggesting could be a 95 speed guy here, too. That's not the official rating. Uh, but George Kittle, also one of the best tight ends in the game, can't beat that. Offensive line is solid. Trent Williams is probably the uh, most important one. There's nobody else on the line is really rated that high. But on the defensive side, though, that's really what has them on this list. They don't have a ton of speed, but they still have a lot of really good players. And Nick Bosa, one of the best in the game. Javon Hargrave still really good. Although the defensive line took a little bit of a step back. They did bring a good linebacker, Devondre Campbell, to the unit. Fred Warner and Dre Greenlaw make one of the best linebacking trios in the game. Although, once again, not very fast. That's one of their downsides. They have very good cornerbacks in Charvarius Char Ward, who at some point should probably get a superstar and x-factor ability because he is that good decent safeties though obviously Hua Funga is the best out of all of them. another guy that probably should get some x-factor superstar abilities could get that before the game comes out next up we have the dolphins because speed is king and madden they took a little bit of a step back and they also are held back a little bit by once again the throw power and lack of speed of tua they're really elite when it comes to running back and running back speed Guys like Devin A. Chain, who is the fastest running back in the game still, or at least should be. We won't know until the game comes out because there are some rookies. They even have a rookie by the name of Jalen Wright, who this guy, whoever created this, is suggesting he might be a 95 speed. So once again, speed, speed, speed all over the field. Raheem Mostert also 95 speed and superstar X-Factor abilities after a monster year. Uh, but this team's really about their receiving core once again. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, both superstar caliber, you know, X-Factor caliber players with 98 and 99 speed to stretch the field. They also have... Anthony Schwartz, I think is like an Olympic sprinter, hiding on the roster at a 96 speed. Then you have John U. Smith, who's also an 88 speed tight end. So once again, if you're going to be on this team, you got to be fast. The offensive line is really good too. And once again, one of the fastest left tackles in the game in Toronto Armstead with a 77 speed. They have a lot of speed on defense as well with Jalen Phillips and Chop Robinson, who they suggest here could be a 90 plus speed player who's their first round pick uh, out at Penn State. Really good player. Uh, Channing Tindall. Also, a 91 speed player has been on the roster for a while. Bradley Chubb, good edge rusher. Shaq Barrett, good edge rushing option. Lots of really good defensive end slash edge rushing players. Their secondary is really where it's at, though, with Jalen uh, Ramsey, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Kendall Fuller, obviously still a very good cornerback as well. And Javon Holland and Jordan Poyer, who they've recently brought over from the Bills, make a very talented secondary. Probably one of the best in the game, especially when it comes to all the superstar and X-Factor abilities that they could possibly have. Next up, we have the team that I think is the best in the NFC to use in the game, and that's my Philadelphia Eagles. I know I'm a little bit of a homer, but they're a very talented roster. Jalen Hurts, uh, biggest issue with him, once again, throw power is not great, but he is fast, so at least there's that. You can run around with him a lot. Uh, they brought in Saquon Barkley, who is one of the biggest free agent additions in the entire offseason, to add to an offense that already has A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. They did lose uh, their fastest receiver in Quez Watkins, but they might have John Ross on the roster. I don't know if he'll be on the roster once the game comes out, but if he is, a 99 speed player 
Dallas Goddard, very talented tight end, one of the best blocking tight ends. And Albert Akwe Boonham, an 88 speed, 6 for 5 tight end that they got from the Broncos last year, uh, give them just a ton of weapons. The offensive line also has three linemen that are above 80 with Jordan Mailata, Landon Dickerson, and Lane Johnson, who has abilities. And then you also have a decent defensive line with guys like uh, Josh Sweat, um, who's very good, Bryce Huff, who's very solid, Jalen Carter, who's obviously a superstar already, Jordan Davis, and Mill Williams. Very good uh, defensive in front they got a lot of speed of linebacker though nolan smith jr 92 speed uh they also drafted jaylix hunt they, they signed devin white 91 speed especially at cornerback with darius slay who's a superstar x-factor isaiah rogers who's a 94 speed uh quinion mitchell their first round pick who's projected he ran a 4-3 so he's projected to be very fast cooper dejean could have been a first round pick his coverage ability be really high and even keely ringo who they got in the fourth round last year six foot two 94 speed great physical profile Cha chauncey garner johnson also is a uh you know he's a really highly rated player and now we're up to our top two teams next up with lamar jackson's ravens obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the game with that 96 speed that's absolutely crazy and then they went ahead and added the best pounding running back in the game in derrick henry with angry runs i mean this is absolutely ridiculous uh not to mention they have keaton mitchell who's a 94 speed one of the fastest running backs in the game so uh, really solid receiving court too. Zay Flowers had a great rookie year. Rashad Bateman, a good young player. Uh, Mark Andrews, one of the best tight ends in the game. Their offensive line with Ronnie Stanley, um, Tyler Lindenbaum. Their defensive line is very good with Justin N. Matabuke. I really don't know how to say his name too great. But I think he went to the Pro Bowl last year. Very good player. Uh, Michael Pierce has been there a long time. Another guy who's just really good at holding the point of attack. Two very good defensive tackle caliber players. And then they also have some really good uh, linebackers when it comes to guys like Roquan Smith, Trent Simpson, who's a 91 speed, uh, Defi Owa, who's an 89 speed, uh, David Ajabo, I think is a former first round pick. Um, also a very fast linebacker. Their second day is really solid with Marlon Humphrey, who's got X-Factor superstar abilities. They drafted Nate Williams in either the first or second round. I'm not really sure, but he's a very good physical profile once again, too, with six foot two, ninety seven speed. Their safeties are loaded with Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton, who's six foot four. And last but not least, you knew it was coming. The Kansas City Chiefs, the world champions, best quarterback in the game. Uh, this guy here is one of the strongest arms. He's very mobile as well. I didn't even know they signed Carson Wentz. That's crazy. Uh, they also got one of the better running backs in the game that people don't really realize, and Isaiah pacheco who's once again 93 speed got superstar x-factor abilities a very powerful runner uh they got really good receivers as well with rasheed rice coming off of a good rookie season they signed or traded for marquis hollywood brown who's a 97 speed receiver he's only five foot nine but he definitely stretches the field they drafted xavier worthy 98 99 speed one of those two we're not really sure but uh, but their three wide receiver set is just insane. Travis Kelsey is a 99 overall player. He's really hard to cover. Their offensive line is really solid, especially on the interior, as three of their offensive linemen on the inside are all close to 90. Uh, on the defensive side, though, they lost a little bit. George Karloftis has developed into a very good player uh, as a speed, as a power rusher. Chris Jones, still one of the best defensive players in the entire game uh, with X-Factor abilities. He's got to be double teamed on just about every single play. Leo Chanel gives him speed at linebacker. Nick Bolton's one of the best young linebackers in the game. And Drew Tranquil makes a really good uh, three linebacker set if you like to run linebackers. Their secondary lost a little bit though when they lost to Jerry Sneed. Um, although Trent McDuffie is still one of the better young cornerbacks in the game. Uh, the safeties are a little bit weaker too, but with Justin Reed, they have at least one of those set. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I can do best teams to build in uh, online CFM. I can do best teams, uh, you know, best offenses, best defenses. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.